Hi everybody, Anna K. Morris here with a quick coaching video. Uh, it's been a minute. I took um, last week off and went on a family vacation to the beach and that's what I wanna talk about today. Not the beach, but transitions, right? So it's August 22nd and we've got nine days left of August. And I feel like the month of August really doesn't get a fair shake in the States. Now, I think it's different in Europe because most of Europe takes off the month of August and then, you know, kids go back to school in September. But here, um, a lot of kids go back to school. Oh, hi, Barney. Um, go back to school early to mid-August. Well, our kids don't go back until August 30th and September 5th. So we get like the full month of August. And I find that so frequently, People are just like ready to not have their kids home all day long. And like we rush through that third month of summer, if you consider summer like June, July, August, like I do. Um, and it's been like, since having kids, it I, I just don't like how August feels. And I've been thinking a lot about like how eager we are to get to the next thing so we don't really like let ourselves fully enjoy the season that we're in. And I know, you know, I can speak to this ad nauseum because I have, you know, recently had two newborns and like, it's so easy to just like want them to sleep through the night or want the, you know, diapers to stop or whatever it is that you're like not into. Um, or you want them to talk so that you know what they're, <laughs> why they're crying so much. And I, and I have been, working on this for the last three and a half years, because I have a three and a half year old, um, and even longer um, in other phases of my life, because like, it's so important to just like, let yourself be in the season that you are in, and also like allow for the transition. So I'm gonna use this example. Um, it didn't really work for us to like, take a beach vacation. We've got a lot of work going on. We've got, um, you know, young kids, a lot of projects. Um, you know, we're on a, you know, tight budget. And at the same time, I knew that like not going to the beach also didn't work. So we went to the beach, um, last week for a full week. Like a lot of times it's, you know, four or five days. And I was like, nope, I want to go for the full week. We brought the dogs. We booked a place with a fenced in yard so that like, I could be a little bit more relaxed and like not have to like be the one always walking the dogs because I don't have two kids, I have four, because I really treat my dogs, you know, the same way that I did before I had kids, at least I try to. And we just like sucked the marrow out of summer. Everyone in our family is like so complete with summer, except we still have nine more days. So Derek and I have been talking about like, okay, what are the last few things that we want to do to like, round out summer to like really complete our summer experience as a family and he was like did you know that austin had an aquarium and i was like no and i mean i know that you can go to the aquarium all year long but like the kids are really on like a fish and shark and whale thing and especially having just come from the beach like that's a hot topic in our house and so now we're looking at like taking them to the aquarium for the day and so just like fall is going to be here september 1st is literally next week around the corner Labor Day, and then it's like fully, even though it'll still probably be 100 degrees here in Texas, it really will transition us into fall. But you still have nine days. So I just implore you to take the next nine days and soak it up. So it sounds like a really silly thing, but like I will be sure to wear all my favorite summer things in the next nine days because. I'm really not going to wear them starting in September and like they won't be appropriate to wear until like the next, you know, summer. Um, and, and some will be like, you know, I'll be done with by then. So like do all of your last favorite things, like eat popsicles before dinner in the pool, right? Um, like go to all the splash pads, go like do the things, take the last minute trip with a friend, like do the last few things of summer that you absolutely love. Eat the things, right? Like eat the corn on the cob, get the, you know, heirloom tomatoes, like whatever your favorite summer things are, make a list. And in the next nine days, 
go do them. Like let yourself really soak up these last few moments of summer. I know that a lot of your kids are back in school, but it's still technically summer, not just because like, you know, just because your kids are back in school does not mean that summer is over. Fall will start in September. So like, I just wanted to shoot this coaching video to tell you that like, we still have more than one week of summer and wouldn't it be great to go out on a high note, to go out and say like, I really did summer this year. Like I did all the things, right? Like go for ice cream with your family, like whatever it is that you really, really cherish, like pitch a tent in the backyard and sleep under the stars. If you haven't done some favorite summer things, like do them. And if you haven't done it enough, then do it again. Okay. So um, I will see you guys back tomorrow. It's nice to be back and um, I have so much laundry to do. So um, I will. <laughs> That's that's the the repercussion, right, of going on vacation with lots of sand. Um, but anyway, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow with another coaching video.